Hello, Periscope, just stand by. Hello, YouTube, we're just now waiting for Twitch. We want to go live to all three of you guys at once. So we'll be starting the broadcast in less than a minute. Thanks for being here. And Sonam, you were the first comments of the broadcast. Hello and welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. I love these moments in time where I have a friend on the show. I know you can't see him just yet. Oh, thanks for the super hard to do a little look. You're filling up the tip jar already. Um, and you're fighting for stream boss. You're almost there. I know you couldn't see me, Jeffrey. Apologize. Periscope connected quicker than YouTube and Twitch. And we wanted to go live to all three at once. So that's what I was waiting for. So thanks for your patience as I loop the video there. That's what I'm going to do until I figure out a better solution. There's my cat, Jack. And I just quickly want to say thank you, 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 thank you to every single person on this list. One of which is actually our special guest tonight. One of my favorite people I've met on Periscope, and the most talented photographer I probably know. Hey, Alexis, thanks for being here. Oh, hey, Eric, and anyone else that I may have missed. Steve, I see you, and Donna. So. Without further ado, let's have some wonderful eye candy. So we're trying a little bit different setup this time. He said it's not him that's eye candy, but you, that's up to you to decide. But also his photography from Instagram. So if you follow him on Instagram, it's Stephen G. Campbell. And you can click that link right off my website, femyoga.com. Oh, and we have a new stream boss, Doolittle. So femyoga.com, click top sponsors, and you'll see Steve right on that list with a link to his Instagram photos. And he's also in the broadcast. So Steve, actually, even before I bring you on, do you want to just comment really quick and then they can follow you? And then I'll bring you live so you can look at the camera. Candy! It's not candy. They're actually little cat ladies. They're like little cat girls with big pink tails. <laughs> Hi, James. And someone else who I missed. But yes, okay. Oh, you're not able to comment? Okay, well, that's okay. He is in the, in the room, so if you click the viewers, you'll be able to see him. And now I'm going to bring him on because I know he's excited to be on the screen. In five, four, three, two, get excited, and one. Steve, welcome to the show. How are you? God, I'm very good. How are you? Good. I'm good. So we are on the screen now right next to one of your, actually, this is your most recent Instagram photo, right? I don't know yet. I don't know what you're Oh, it's on a delay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that is the latest one. I love this that's, picture. That's taken in Bel Belfair, Washington. I love it so much. So I'm going to be scrolling through the different photos on your Instagram. And then, because there's a lot. And I figure, you know, I probably won't have you more than like an hour at most. So mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of scroll through while we chat. Is that, does that work for you? Sounds fine. All right, cool. Now, we haven't really tested this much, you guys. So if the size of the photo is different, it might look weird on the screen. But we're just going to try it. So here's our next one. Um, so tell us where you do mo most of your photography. Well, I live in Washington, so uh, I pretty much just travel within Washington, Oregon, and British Columbia. Oh, so, nice. Although, although I have taken trips to Ireland and Scotland, so there might be a few of those pictures in here as well. Ooh, yes. And you actually, I remember way back when we met on Periscope, you had told me, it's funny because everyone always, you know, says, oh, I do this, I have this, and it's kind of like, oh, cool, and then you go look, and it's like, yeah, it's kind of that, but it's kind of like, eh, you know, it's, you can find so much content on the internet, and Steve, at that time, was just some guy who was like, yeah, I have pictures on Instagram of Washington State, it's really beautiful, you'd love it, you know, because I didn't know, I said, oh, it's too far north, and, and I just, it's probably so cold, and really, what is there to do there? <laughs> And then I go look at this guy's Instagram and I'm like, what the heck? Is this real? Are these real pictures? Is this a real place? It looks like, I don't know, like a fantasy land. Um, and here's another one. Well, this one might be, yeah, it's kind of. Washington is 
fantasy land, actually. It is a fantasy land? Yes. Well, you, you get to see these things on a day-to-day -day basis. So it, uh, every weekend I'm on trails. Wow. So you get, you're probably used to these kind of views. I am. Oh my that's, God. Uh, that's, Spoon, that's Spoon Creek Falls there. Oh, prior. Yeah, sorry. I forgot there's a delay. I should probably let you like say stuff before I switch it. <laughs> just on that one, just the ones that are like a little bit narrower, I'm kind of like skipping them a little bit faster just because it yeah. doesn't like fill the screen so perfectly. But these, this mountain picture is breathtaking. I well, love that's, it. That's up at uh, Mount Rainier. That's actually uh, Mount Adams in the far distance. So you get up high enough to where you actually see uh, a Three, actually, on that day, I could actually see three different uh, Cascade Mountains. And uh, so Mount Adams was one, Mount uh, Mount St. Helens was the other. So. Whoa. You guys, am I right or am I right? Like, it looks fake, right? It's a snowshoeing uh, trek, actually. Oh, uh -huh, snowshoeing. Wow, well, yeah, that doesn't sound like my kind of activity, but I'm glad you did it because it looks gorgeous. <laughs> um crim crim says so pretty doodle says wow let's see what else oh guys hang on wait stand by let's just keep looking at these well here i'll switch it to another one while i tinker oh snow so much snow this looks like actually th these little trees here in this picture remind me of the grand canyon a little when i went to visit there because it was february when i went to the grand canyon which is not a great time to go to the Grand Canyon, by the way, because it gets fogged in. Sometimes you literally cannot see the canyon at all, even when you're standing on the edge of it. Right. Yeah, those, there's probably about three or four feet of snow underneath those, those trees. Oh my gosh. How, what were you doing? Like, were you snowshoeing on that one too? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How often do you go snowshoeing? Uh, winter time, it, uh, it I, well, actually I took up snowshoeing last year. So this year I have not, well, this was the only snowshoe trek I've taken this year. So. Wow, it's so pretty. And I'm going to go to the next photo. Oh, and I can even see where they are. So this is Paradise in Mount Rainier National Park. Correct. Oh my That's God. That's at, uh. 5,600 feet elevation. It's so pretty. I could literally stare at each picture like for all day. I just love this. It's just so, the, the nature photos, you know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alicia says snowshoeing sounds fun, but she'll leave you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the funny thing is, is actually it's not cold. It, it's cold for the first five minutes. And you actually warm up really fast. Yeah, your body actually puts out like its own little kind of antifreeze into your blood that actually helps you to feel warmer um, when you're cold. <laughs> Doolittle says Egypt's got nothing on this. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, come photograph Egypt with us. Oh, I've thought about it. Well, there's still time. There's still time. It's about a month. <laughs> Uh, it's really cheap. I don't know if you heard me say the flight was like $750 and then the hotel is like less than $50 a night and you get a view of the pyramids from your hotel. It's pretty uh, amazing. The problem with, yeah, the problem though is uh, you're on the East coast. So it's another $500 probably added to there. Maybe like three or four. Yeah. hundred. Yeah. You're probably right. Especially when you get closer yeah. and closer to the day we're leaving. Uh, and yeah. then this picture I have here is Alder Lake. Alder Lake, yes. That's a damned lake. So Does it's the have water source for beavers? It's just a water source for the cities. <coughs> Does it have what? Beavers? <laughs> no. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um this is Washington State, Alicia. And here's some train tracks in Little Mashal River. Waterfalls. Yep. Yeah, that uh, that was actually a fairly short hike, but it uh, it actually probably a good I don't know a good probably half mile or so. Uh, it was all waterfall. You know, step stepping down 
uh, different little small waterfalls. Oh my gosh. So. I like the, this train track. It's so, oh my God. Just the angles that you pick, the pictures that you take are just, I love all of them. So I'm just going to say that a lot. You can just get used to it now. <laughs> um, Alicia said, cheers, drink time. I don't know if you took a sip of your wine or not, but she says cheers. Yay! I don't. I only have water, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep my hand on the computer because I got like ten different things going on here. I wonder if we can like get really crazy and just put our tip jar somewhere on the screen. Why not? You know, just like go crazy with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna pop up on the picture just for a second, and then I'll move it over into my little picture. Yeah. See, look, we can put it next to me still. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Yeah, it's there. Your internet is stinking tonight, Eric. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Krim Krim asked the same thing I asked before this broadcast. What kind of wine? <laughs> it's a red wine, just a red blend. It's actually Costco's. Um, she said whiskey for her. <laughs> hey, Ed. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Francois. Um, so the, I skipped the this video of the waterfalls just because, again, it's like narrower. And then there's another one that's like a tree root, and that's pretty narrow too. So if you guys want to see these pictures longer, go follow him on Instagram. Hey, I don't like this one. Why don't I like this one? I thought I liked all your pictures. Okay, going to the next one. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now we're in a full screen picture that is horse thief butt. Butte. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, horse that actually thief is, butte. Uh, that's. That's the, uh, actually, that's the Columbia River right there. So that's Columbia River goes, uh, is the border between Washington and Oregon. And this is the East Washington, Eastern Washington side of, uh, of Washington. Uh, yeah, it's Eastern Washington. And uh, it's the, the Columbia Gorge or Columbia River there. This is beautiful. It looks like a lake in a desert. It's kind of like the vibe that I get when I look at it. Yeah, Columbia River is a lot like a big lake. Hey, Scoops. Um, Alicia said that wine always makes for a fun night. <laughs> it's true. She's not wrong. She's yes, not wrong. Yeah. Although the whiskey does too. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I feel like, you know, as long as it's all in moderation, you can have a fun night no matter what yeah. you're drinking. <laughs> that was last night. The old fashions were last night. Nice. What does my grandma get? She gets something... I have to think about what her, uh, oh, oh, the Godfather. I don't even know what's in that, but it just makes me laugh every time she orders it. <laughs> uh, this is a picture from Catherine Creek, and all these photos are from Washington State, if you're just joining us. Hey, Andre, thanks for sharing this on Twitter and inviting your followers. Yeah, those were oak trees in a, just in a local county park. So, and that's, uh, again, that's Columbia, Columbia River there. Oh my God. I just want to stare at this one a little bit longer. Stand by. Oh, do I have my autofocus on? Sorry guys. That's probably annoying with the audio there. I just fixed that. So if you've been hearing like an adjusting sound on my microphone, apologize. That should be done doing that now. I want to stare at this one forever. I think I want this one to be my background. I like this one a lot. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. See, Francois says they look like paintings. Exactly. This yeah. one looks a little bit different to me. This is Horse Thief Lake State Park. Was this like taken with your phone or something? This looks different to me. Look at the um, like clarity of it, the definition of it anyway. Um, I know you have to kind of like wait for it to pop up on your screen because there's a delay. <laughs> no, that's uh, so actually so far all of these pictures have been taken with my uh, Android Pixel. Oh, so, really nice camera on the Pixel. Yes, yes. Wow. So, but that's, yeah, that's just a, a campground, actually. It's closed for the season, but just had some pretty colors. Good question, Doolittle. He wants to know, what's the average yearly temperature there? Um, well, right now, it's, uh, the average is right around 45 to 50. Um, in the summertime, it gets to about 75 to 80. Mm, I would really be happy for 45 degrees right now, if I'm honest. It's like <laughs> 10 degrees or something. <laughs> yes, Alicia says, go Android. Okay, and the picture I have up now is of Molten Falls. 
Molten Falls, yeah. Yeah, it's just another uh, kind of a regional park that uh, you stumble, stumble upon and then you uh, you actually go there and you see a nice waterfall, but then you actually get to see all everything else there too, which is typically prettier than the waterfalls. Yeah, so, that's so, true. The walk to the waterfalls always just as beautiful. Yeah. The, the next picture I think you're going to see is uh, the same uh, the same park. Okay, I'll, I'll change it just one second. Doolittle says he might have found his new home state. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for inviting your followers, Sonam. And then Francois said these weren't taken with from a DSLR camera. No, no, just my Pixel. That is amazing. I am going to actually I'm I'm going to start uh, getting my other camera out. It's just because you can get extra movement in the in the DLSR or the water, so. Awesome. Um, and hello, YouTube. I see you top banana gaming. They say, this is really cool. I wish I could draw. These are actually photographs taken from his Google Pixel Android smartphone. Um, so I know my last broadcast was about drawing and it probably confused everyone, but this is actually real. These are real. This is real life, what the mm -hmm. earth looks like, what the world looks like through Steve's eyes. Yes. Yeah, it. this is also Molten Falls. So. So what uh, is that bridge still, that we're seeing? It's it's just a walking bridge that the county made. It's kind of like a little story, you know, an old storytelling bridge. Yeah, I bet it's really creepy there at night. <laughs> <laughs> you can camp. You can camp there. Oh my gosh, I like camping actually because you're always camping in groups. It's not like you're alone stranded. Oh. I said squirrel. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, Snow Lake in King County, Washington, a chipmunk. I said squirrel, but it's really cute. Yeah, it's a chipmunk. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I'm going to skip it um, just because it's a little bit narrower. And then this is um, Snow Lake, King County, Washington as well. And this is mountains, lake, and beautiful tree. I love this picture. So blue. Yeah, it's uh, about a week after that trip, uh, it snowed, so it was it was completely white a week later. Oh my gosh, so you caught it just in the nick of time. Yes. <laughs> and Alicia says, is it still snowing there in Washington? Or is she talking to me? Um, it, in the, in the, uh, up in the mountains, it's snowing, so it's not snowing down where I'm at. Thankfully. Nice. Yeah, it's not snowing here in New York either. The roads are actually dry as of today because it hasn't snowed in a few days, but I think it's supposed to snow a little bit tomorrow, so, but that's okay. And then here's another angle of that same blue lake, but it's more, you can see more of like the green trees on the mountain. Yeah. Still um, delayed, so. Yeah, I know. Francois wants to know, do you do any post-production work on these pictures? Hey, Wendy. I uh, do uh, slight, slight variations in colors to, to make them more um, actually what they look like in real life. I try not to change what was actually shown in real life. Modifies the, the, some of the settings, so you just readjust back to reality. I love it. Thanks for inviting your followers, Wendy. I love this content is like, this is probably one of my favorite split screens I've done because I just love these photographs so much. And then this one says Goat Creek, and it's kind of a weird shape again on the screen, but it's very vibrant with the green. Goat Creek. It's like a hairy tree with a bunch of moss hanging off of it. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. like, yeah, you see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was actually that's uh, that's a a longer hike and actually uh, there was another hike, another waterfall i don't which i don't know if it's on here or not which is uh cathedral falls you actually walk behind the that waterfall oh cathedral falls sounds so, familiar i feel like they might have had something called cathedral falls in hawaii yeah. or something like that yeah yeah the colors are amazing francois um oh this is like a imagine dragons tribute to tom petty at key arena seattle center <laughs> <coughs> and then Again, that was taken with my taken with my pixel awesome i love it hey Asif. and then this is the mount rainier sunrise so i'll stop this is another full screen one so i'll give you a minute to catch up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hello everyone! Yeah, so these are all photographs taken in Washington State, Oregon, and um, what is it? British what? Columbia. British Columbia. <laughs> um, by Steve. And he's on Periscope. He's in the room right now. He wasn't able to comment. I don't know if he can now or not, but um, no. no, it's not working. He's banned. No. He's blacklisted. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> But you can find links to his Periscope and his Instagram on my website because he's one of our top sponsors. So click femyoga.com, click top sponsors, or just go to femyoga.com slash sponsors and you'll see Steve Campbell. You can click into his stuff right there. Trust me, you want to follow his Instagram because if you're just having like a day where you feel, especially if you live upstate New York like I am or somewhere where it gets kind of like gray and cold and, and you can just look at these pictures and just, you know, soothe all of your ailments <laughs> that's why i hike and take pictures just for that reason for yourself or for us <laughs> for myself <laughs> there we go see the virtue of selfishness proves itself again <laughs> and then i don't know what this is here it's like a is it like a thorn no, just a dead tree just a dead tree what are all the, this just seems like so many branches and stuff what is it's that's and that's the branches from the dead tree. Okay. Yeah. This is at it's at um you know, it's at what this is at about six thousand feet and okay. elevation and the trees grow very, very slowly up there. So um they die off just because they get to a certain size and they can't handle the the growth versus the cold. So the growing season is is only uh, you know in a month, but basically up at that level. Wow. So okay. it just can't handle it anymore, and so it dies off. Wow. Awesome. Um, Doolittle wants to know, does Washington have the earthquakes like California? It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. What's In the fact, biggest earthquake uh, you've think, experienced? Uh, it was a 6.2. Whew. Where were you? Uh, I was at my office, and the building completely shook. <laughs> Oh my and God. you know, ceiling tiles, ceiling tiles fell, and um, you know, it was quite interesting. Wow, that is amazing. That would scare me so much. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Justin. You guys, thanks for joining. This is Steve, and he took all these pictures in Washington State. Uh, I think I might have missed some other comments, but oh, Doolittle said, "Okay, never mind. It's not a new home state for for him." But you don't have to live in the mountains. <laughs> it's yeah, only in the mountains yeah. that he's talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I live at, uh, I only live 50 feet above sea level. So. Oh, okay. So it's a lot more moderate temperatures where you're at. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. Um, Justin says hello I from Canada. I... Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say somebody commented, I don't use a uh, tripod. So. Just all by hand. Yep. I love it. And where in Canada are you, Justin? Because he actually is in Washington, so he does some photography in British Columbia. And hi, Ben. Welcome to the party. Uh, Justin says, nice pic, Steve. Love the mountains. I know. These are breathtaking. I love all these pictures. I could do this all night. Steve's going to have to mm -hmm. cut us off. He's going to be like, all right, guys, I finished my wine. You're cut off. <laughs> <laughs> so here is another photo. This is of a fallen tree next to a lake here. And um, Oh God, Sequilichu Creek. Did I say it right? Sequilichu? Sequalichu? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Se it's probably Sequalichu. Sounds better than the first way I said it. Um, that's, uh, that's actually the Puget Sound there. So. Okay. So that's the ocean. Oh, um, that's the ocean? Yep. Oh, snap. It's so calm. Well, it's a, it's a sound. It's in a sound, but it's attached to the ocean. Okay. So, so it's salt water. Yeah, it's like ocean water. Um, yeah. Okay. I switched to Natchez Peak Loop Trail. And mm -hmm. Justin is in Alberta in Drayton Valley. Wendy loves that picture. I don't I think it was two pictures ago. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of like <laughs> delayed. <laughs> British Columbia is beautiful, Justin says. Yeah, and so is Washington. Look at these pictures. Yeah. Yeah, these Natchez, there's a few Natchez Peak Loop Trail, and yeah, they're, it's, this is probably, this is also about 6,000 feet elevation. So. 
I love it. I think actually probably about about two weeks after I was at this one, it, it basically snowed and and has uh, has had snow ever since. Yeah, these pines remind me a lot of what I would see in Grand Canyon because it's like that high elevation. The way they grow, it's like so skinny and tall. You know, it's weird. Yeah. It's kind of like, yeah. I don't know, like an alien world to me. Because ours in New York are like so fat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Google should make a commercial with your pictures to promote the awesome Pixel camera. That's a good idea, Francois. Yeah. There you go. You can get sponsored <laughs> by Google. Sure. <laughs> Justin hasn't been to Washington yet, but it is on his list to check out. I think it's on all of our list to check out now after these pictures. I know yeah, I didn't really well worth it. want to go before this. I met Steve and I was like, what? And I still, I look at his Instagram. He's like the only person I look at his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to to say what this one was. This is, uh, oh, again, what is it called? <laughs> Natchez? Na what did you say? How'd you say it? It's Natchez Peak. Natchez. Natchez Peak Loop Trail. Yeah. This is right on the, uh, this is at what's called Chinook Pass. And so it's part of this, part of this trail is on the west side of the of mountains and part of it's on the east side of the mountains. Oh, nice. So you get so. to like walk around, walk right around them. Yeah. I love oh, yeah. that. That's awesome. Yeah. Excuse me. The lake looks like a hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, a it's really small alpine lake. Yeah, it's tiny. It looks like a little pond. Yeah. And then we have this one, which is in the same place. Um, these are the trees. I'm going to skip it because it's a little bit narrow. So if you guys, again, if you want to spend more time looking at this, check out his Instagram because we have a lot of photos to share tonight. And I don't want to, like, spend too much time on each picture, but I also like the ones that fill up the screen. <laughs> yeah, it rains a lot here. So that moss on those trees it's, uh, and, it, the, you know, the growing season plus the rain, it uh, it has a, a lot of opportunity to create moss. Right, yeah. I, I notice a lot of moss in Florida as well, which is like, you would think two totally different climates, but their trees just get like massive moss. We don't get that yeah. in New York and that I've ever noticed anyway. And yeah. Then... yeah, it's a Go ahead. Denny, I think that's a Denny Lake in a, in a distance. Oh, okay. So many lakes, so many different lakes and Sometimes it's the ocean. Yeah. It's like, how can he can tell just by looking at it where what it is. Mm -hmm. And then this is the same place again. This is, looks like it's getting a little bit darker. We can see the mountains. I don't know if maybe you walked over to the other side of the mountains off of this one. Um, Paul wants to know where this is. This isn't actually in Washington State, in America. Uh, that's Denny Lake, actually. So this was the higher elevation with the view of the lake and so we had the, the hike actually took us down to the lake okay nice it looks like is it like fall there i see a lot of red on the ground uh it's yeah it's fall and you can see snow on the ground so yeah i see some snow yeah okay then we have upper big creek which was the first rain in 70 plus days yeah yeah, we went through a big dry spell in the summertime this year. Me too, Mitch. He says he loves pictures of nature. Me too. I think a lot of people do, so this is a great. That's why I wanted to do this broadcast so bad. Let's see, Doolittle says he's definitely planning a trip to Washington now. <laughs> You're you, well, you should be sponsored by Washington State. Yeah. Well, funny thing is, my ex-wife was uh, the, one of the the. Uh, workers at the tourism office for Washington State. Oh, so. yeah, so now you're blacklisted from there, too. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one, Oregon. Oh, okay. This, uh, this picture, actually, um, a, a friend of mine um, in Alabama wanted to be reminded of Ireland, so uh, this is actually a picture of Ireland. I was going to say, it looks like so, Ireland. Yeah, would have had me yeah. fooled. That's beautiful. This is the, it's the Ring of Carrie right there. Oh, the Ring of Carrie. We have a friend named Carrie on here. You know her. She's in the Fem Yoga chat. Always yeah. keeping it <laughs> interesting in there. Um, and Ben said that he's going to go to Washington now, too. <laughs> well, Ooh. Yeah, I can show him around. There we go. We have our very own tour guide, guys. 
And this is Palouse <laughs> Falls State Park. Palouse Falls, yes. Palouse. Palouse. That's uh that's in the middle of uh it's in the middle of a desert. Wow. This water this this falls right here. Wow. So Eastern Washington used to actually be a uh a big lake and oh. in the ice ages and uh it uh, the the ice basically created all these these valleys and Whoa. so so is that like a glacial river kind of thing from back then or no? <coughs> well, it was created by the glaciers. Right. <coughs> now it's just a river. River? And just yeah. a river. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's eastern, eastern Washington. It's a desert. So it's it gets pretty hot over there. Does it ever dry up? What's that? Does, it that? does that little river we're seeing ever dry up? No, not that one. Oh, okay. Nice. Tammy says beautiful photos. Um, Jeff says, wow, there's a lot of wows coming in throughout this whole thing. Francois wants to know if this oh, is yeah. near Walla Walla. Yes, it is. Nice, Francois. And Paul says it looks like the Grand Canyon. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I could see that. Yeah. yeah I Not could as see big. That. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, and then mm -hmm. here's the actual fall coming out of the side here on this picture. There it is. It was a, yeah, I'm standing on a big cliff. Wow. Right on the edge. Yeah. The, the trail to get to that picture was quite sketchy. How, what was like your craziest thing that happened when you were trying to take a picture? And like, did you, like, have you ever fallen anywhere weird or gotten hurt trying to get a good picture? No. Good. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, you're skilled. You're careful. That's good. Well, you're sure footed. Everybody, yeah, uh, everybody, I, yeah, I, I hike with a bunch of people as well at, at times. Most of my hikes I actually do alone, but uh, sometimes I get, I walk right up to ledges that are, you know, 300 foot cliffs and, and nobody can understand how I can do that. But <laughs> hey, it gets great shots. So I guess it's worth it as long as you don't ever fall. <laughs> right. And this is Palouse the goal. still here. Yeah. And then this next one. Oh, this is the eclipse. This photo was taken by a friend, Chris. Okay, we're gonna skip that. We we're not here to promote Chris. And then <laughs> I don't know. I think this might be your picture of the eclipse. Let's skip that one too. Okay. And then here's Yakut's Beach, <coughs> Oregon. Someone said some people have died taking selfies. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. That's the worst way to go. Yeah, that's yeah, so we're getting in some Oregon pictures now. Yeah, Francois, I bet he does. He says, Do you lose phone signal in the wilderness? Yes. Yeah, I've tried to you know, as you know, I tried to scope a couple of them and it just don't it doesn't work. No. Um, this one's Devil's Churn, and what happens usually if you if you're in the middle of nowhere and you scope it, sometimes the it'll be skippy on the live, but then it's okay on the replay, but it'll still be really pixelated if you have a weak signal. Um, yeah. Hey Raz, so I've been looking into more like a portable Wi-Fi kind of thing. I think we'll find that becoming more accessible as live streaming and you know this whole kind of wave of li going live wherever you're at kind of catches on. Hmm. And this is Devil's Churn. Chum? Churn. Churn, I think. Yeah, churn. Oregon is such a windy coastline, according to Paul. Yeah, it is. Different times of the year. They're, they're good. During the summertime, I think it gets it, not windy. Oh, okay. And then the next one we have, this is also Devil's Churn. This is some birds on the beach. This is cute. Little, um, what do they call them? Sandpipers or something? What do they call those little birds with the beaks that kind of poop go down and like they grab mm -hmm. little crabs and stuff? I don't know, yeah, which ones. Uh, yeah, actually, those look like those look like seagulls. 
Those are seagulls? <laughs> I think so. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, and Tammy says a lot of people have iVideo sponsor their pocket Wi-Fi. Something to look into. I've heard of like NVIDIA, I think. Don't you have to have a, a don't you have to have a cell signal though to to have what pocket Wi-Fi as well? I would assume so, but I really I don't know. I haven't looked into it at all, so I don't know the details. But I would assume, yeah, it would have to be on that place's data. Yeah. You know, I don't know yeah. if like certain places yeah. get better data. And when you travel internationally, you know, it's like something so that people have something. I think, but it's like if you have a mm -hmm. signal, I don't know why you would need the Wi-Fi. I guess it's just really expensive right. if you're buying like an international data plan or something. Yeah. Which is probably why I don't have yeah. one because I haven't needed one yet. <laughs> um, this is Devil's mm -hmm. Turn again, and Francois says tide pools. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can always find things in those things. Like what? Like creatures? Yeah, like sea anemones and crabs oh. and little fish at times. Ah, so exciting. And then, oh, here's a bird. I'm not even going to identify it because I told it was wrong last time. Mulak Beach. Tammy says beautiful pictures. And she's right. All right, so I'm going to identify that bird. I'm going to say hawk. Eagle. Uh, uh, raven. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, what did we learn today? That Taylor's not good at identifying birds. Okay, <laughs> and this is Lincoln City, Oregon, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Doolittle says you should get a drone. Mm, next level. 2018 oh, drone. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like to get a drone. Yeah, see, there you go. Get him a drone, you guys. Go buy this guy a drone. <laughs> the raven nevermore exactly quote the raven is this sunset or sunrise probably sun uh, sunset set. yeah because you're on that side yes and this one is also lincoln city oregon little houses across the water there and oh and like is that clouds like foggy clouds kind of in the distance yeah yeah fog bank was rolling in yeah, all these Oregon ones actually were taken the weekend of the eclipse. Went down uh -huh. to to see the eclipse, and so took a extra few extra days uh, along the coastline. Okay, nice. I like it. And then this is Newport, Oregon, and there's a bunch of sea lions. Oh God, he's going to tell me they're not sea lions. They're sea lions. <laughs> oh yes, I got one. <laughs> so I don't know birds, but I know mammals. <laughs> They're very yeah, they, cute. Uh, They're like sunning. sunning they come into, they, I think it's that's Newport Beach or New Newport, Oregon. They have a uh, a dock that they all come and bark at. Oh my God! So. They're so they smell like fish strongly. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. um, hey, thanks for retweeting this on Twitter, Lala. Uh, Francois wants to know: Do you have any Crater Lake pictures? I haven't been down to Crater Lake for years. Um, it's on my list of places to go, but it's a little farther distance, so I'd have to stay the night down there. Sounds like a good trip to me. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like a good thing to take pictures of. <laughs> yes, it is. It is very pretty. Oh, Lala Bell says, so beautiful. I'm a photographer and live near the Oregon-Washington coast. Love going up there. Yeah. All right, Lala, are you single? Are you guys about to get married right now? You don't have to get married. I'm just saying. To see you have to, <laughs> to see that bed and breakfast made out of an old lighthouse. It's in that area. Paul said there's an, a bed and breakfast made out of an old lighthouse in that area. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. He knows about it, Paul. Steve knows everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then yeah. here's Cape Foulweather Lookout. This is, where would you take this picture from? How high up are you? Uh, that's a good... Gosh, it's probably a good thousand feet up. Oh my right? gosh, it looks like you're in a helicopter. Wait, yeah. yeah, it was right on the land. Well, that's not a thousand feet, maybe 500 feet up. Honestly, it looks like a drone big, picture. Big cliff right there. But that's probably one of the windiest spots in all of Washington, in all of Oregon. Fairly consistent 60, 70 mile an hour winds right there. 
Oh my gosh, 60 to 70? Yeah. Oh, that's that's windy. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It's beautiful, but I'm not going there. <laughs> and then here's Devil's Punch Bowl. Devil's Punch Bowl State Natural Area. I like this. This this reminds me of Hawaii. This kind of like sandstone coast. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Oregon coast has a lot of different co uh, coastline. Beach yeah. And rock, and different types of rock. and. I know, it's crazy that all these pictures were taken in the same like state or kind of like tri-state kind of area. Um, yeah. And not like in completely different countries, which some, I mean, they look so different, you know? Right. Oh, Paul said the one thing that creeps him out about that area is that it's a tsunami zone. Yeah, it's, um, there are different areas that are probably more susceptible to that, but, uh, you know, basically behind on most of these pictures, there's a big mountain. So, and there, there are pathways built up, uh, just for the tsunami uh, exit points. Right. Yeah, I saw a lot of that in Hawaii. There was like tsunami evacuation signs and I was like, oh, tsunami like evacuation zone. I was just like, oh God, that's yeah. freaky. Like Actually, I think Washington is much more susceptible to tsunamis. The, wow. the beaches, uh, it, it's a lot lower elevation, and it takes a lot longer to get up to the to, to the mountains. Ah, Lala says she might be biased, but she thinks it's one of the most beautiful drives. Yeah, I would agree. That's awesome. And then the next one, this is also Devil's Punch Bowl. Another kind of angle on this. What is that? Like rocks coming up right into the beach. This is interesting little angle here. I don't know yet. I know. <laughs> so if you guys are just joining us, he can, he's on like a five to ten second delay on what goes out to you guys on Periscope and what he can see. So it just kind of yeah. takes a second. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, the same really ten feet distance from the other picture, looking in a different looking in a different direction. Yeah, like those rocks out down there on the bottom, like towards the left, are kind of funky the way they're like so long yeah. and flat and kind of just random because yeah. then it's just sand <laughs> it's like okay i guess oh earth oh hey dj willie show on twitch thanks for being here i see you thanks for your comment we are live on periscope youtube and twitch right now so feel free to follow me on all three so that you can join the party uh, we give most of our comments on Periscope, if you're wondering. And then this is another Newport, Oregon. This is a bridge with like a million arches. He uses a Google Pixel Android cell phone camera. That's the kid. They're like, what kind of camera do you use? Cell phone. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that uh, bridge is from Newport, Oregon. The, the barking uh, sea lions are just around the corner. Oh, okay. They seem to like that, like um, bridge areas and caves, little like, you know, places yeah. where they can kind of like all gather and, and hang out. They uh, they actually like to, to, well, in Newport, they actually have a dock that's built specifically for them right downtown. So basically it's a big tourist destination. Yeah, tourists love sea lions. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, this next picture is a really cool cloud pattern in a city of Depot Bay Harbor. Depot Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Willie. Now Come Willie's on, on Periscope. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Lala says, yes, but it's cool to see. I forget what we were talking about, but I, she, I think she's agreeing with us. Uh, Eric says it reminds him of the sea lions at San Francisco Pier 39. Yeah, it's a lot like it. I saw, where, where did I see sea lions? Uh, La Jolla in like the San Diego area in California. Hmm. And the, oh, I forgot to say where this one is. This is a waterfall in uh, Natchez again. Did I say it right that time? Uh, yeah. The, yeah, it's, um, this is actually on White Pass, but it's in that same area. It's probably a good uh, 150, 200 foot waterfall. 
That's so pretty. I can only imagine where you're standing when to take some of these pictures. It's just like giving me, giving me anxiety. Yeah, <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm standing on the cliff. It's fine. <laughs> uh, and then this is the Will Ridge Winery and Vineyard. This is a beautiful picture. This is like, yeah, a, you can see, see the whole world. As you see, I drink wine, so I have to visit the wineries. The kind of, I'm drinking my water at the same time. It looks like we're turning water to wine. <laughs> Oops, missed that comment. Sorry, we were drinking. We got a drinking problem on our hands, folks. All right, let's scroll back. We're scrolling back. Lala says, very cool. And Paul says, off topic. Saw your husband on the scope. You guys are a crazy cute couple. Well, thanks, Paul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and anything about the winery before I skip? Uh, it was delicious. Yay. What was your favorite one? <laughs> Uh, actually, it was a rosé. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Nice. I haven't had rosé in a long time. That used to be my favorite yeah, kind it was of a really wine. Hot. It was a hot day that day, so. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Oh, you liked it on YouTube? Thank you, Willie. You guys, we are almost at 7,000 views on YouTube, and when we get to 10,000, I can finally monetize my YouTube channel. So thanks for looking at my videos. If you watch me live on there, if you just click my videos, you don't have to watch them very long. If you just click them, it'll count as a view, and it'll help me. So thanks. Hey, Linda. Yes, Lala says, oh, wow, this is just beautiful. This is uh, Flapjack. This is, uh, that's Flapjack Lakes, yeah. That one was uh, early this uh, summer, and it, that one was a 19-mile hike. Oh, how long that. does that take? Um, it was, I think it was a six-and-a-half-hour walk, I think. One way? So, no. Oh, okay. Trip. Oh, my God, you walk mile, fast. 19 miles total. So, well, I walk fast. If I'm alone, oh I walk God. fast really fast yeah oh my god yeah the green water is beautiful yes lala i love this picture too it doesn't fill up the whole screen but i'm like leaving it because it's it looks fake i love it no yeah, i think there's some more okay fine um, yeah this is flapjack lakes too yeah this picture isn't as good as the other one i mean it's fine but the other <laughs> one was really cool <laughs> yeah i have i have thousands and thousands of pictures that aren't even on here so I love this picture. I remember this. I feel like this was one of the first ones I found. This might be around the time that I started looking at your Instagram. The uh, bright orange mushroom growing out of the rock. Oh, yeah. Mm, I love this picture. I love orange. And it's just so <laughs> nice, like that detail. And you can see the water droplets on the mushroom, you know? Yeah. That's amazing. Willie says he has lakes in Arizona. Really? Lakes in Arizona? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, Lala's like, the last picture was still beautiful. The reflections were very cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, next one is... Oh, yeah, this is one. This one looks fake again, too. This is like, I like these ones that are really bright and colorful. So this is still Flapjack Lakes here, too. I'm talking to you on an Android. Don't know if it's the same camera, but it's amazing. It's a Google Pixel is the type of phone that he has. Yeah, the pop in color. Yeah, I like the the really bright colors too. Yeah, this was. Uh, I went to this lake just on purpose for because this is uh, when I was a kid. My dad and my brothers actually came out to this lake, and they actually it, when we did it, it was only a nine mile hike, and they actually extend. They blocked off the roads and let them regrow. Whoa! Uh, so now it's a, now it's a, uh, yeah, it's like a eight or nine mile one or one way trek. So oh my gosh, that's intense. Yeah, so it ends up, it ends up being a yeah about a nineteen mile hike now. That's cool though that they let the roads just grow back in. They just kind of let nature mm -hmm. take back over. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that. Okay, looks like egg drop is still not working. Little quick test. Okay, moving on. Uh, another picture of Flapjack Lakes. Ooh, I like this with the crazy mountains in the back. Oh my god, it looks like, I don't know, like the, walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Never been able to master pictures on my phone, even as a photographer. Hats off to you. Lala, 
tips her hat to you. Um, it's I, I mean, he's an amazing photographer for sure. But the Google Pixel is like the, the resolution, the quality of the camera is yeah. unlike any other smartphone I've ever used. My friend has a Pixel and I did one broadcast, one live stream on it and everyone commented on it like, this is so clear. This is so amazing. This camera is amazing. I was like, oh, it's not mine. It's my friend's. <laughs> <laughs> Those mountains are actually on the other side of Flapjacks there. Actually, the, the trail continues up to the tops of those. That 19-mile trail? Yeah. Oh. I could have hiked another two and a half, two and a half miles up to, the, to those uh, bridges, but my yeah. feet were hurting. Yeah, I bet they were. Jeez. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, it's you. Goldstream Provincial Park. It's you on like some kind of walking bridge, it looks like. Now there's two Steves on the mm. screen. I can tell these pictures are oh. just insane. The mountains, the water, all so clear, so beautiful. Hey, Emily. Hey, Sally. Francois said he saw a little yeah, snow in the last one. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's up in uh, British, Col British Columbia by Victoria. Oh, okay. But that's weird how yeah, you just like walk cool. along that there's no like railings or anything. Yeah, that's uh that that was probably a good uh three two hundred and two hundred feet down. <sighs> so it's it's a big ravine that they built that across. So Whoa. Paul wants to know, have you ever been to the Olympic rainforest? Yes. The whole rainforest. It's it's beautiful. I don't think I had I some of the older ones, there might be some pictures in there. But... Okay. Eric was wondering if that was a train trestle. Yeah, yes, it was. Hey, Douglas, haven't They're seen you in a while. The, Sorry. The highest um, continental United States train trestle is actually just about 20 miles from me. Whoa, so, cool. They're, they're just, how high slow, is it? They're slowly dismantling it. Oh. I don't know how high it is, but it's, it's very high. Yeah, they're dismantling it because uh, too many people have died. Oh my gosh, that's sad. Um, hey Douglas, nice gold badge. Lala says, have you been to Lava Canyon? Lava Canyon, no, that's, that was on my list of um, hikes this year and I never got back to it. So. All right, 2018. Uh, that's on the south side, south side of, um, of Mount St. Helens. She said they have a bridge like that there too. Yeah, yes they do. I know. I love the green here too. I didn't say where this was from. Is this the same? This is yeah. This is that's, still in uh, British same, Columbia. Yeah, that's in the same park as the trail, uh, the train. It's just uh, yeah. There's just some algae uh, down in. That's that's actually underneath water. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, um, they featured you on Friday. Nice, Douglas. What were you, what was your scope about? Uh, Paul said, "Tell me, we're not living in paradise on this coast." It looks like paradise <laughs> to me too. Uh, Lala says go, but wait until summer. It gets a lot of snow. <laughs> and here's the waterfall in that same Goldstream Provincial Park in British Columbia in yeah. Canada. Yeah. Beautiful. The green versus like that slate kind of color. It's just so pretty. Yeah, that one actually, uh, that pool there is is probably about 20 feet deep. Oh, wow. So, right at the base of the waterfall. Yeah, if he, actually, I, I was lucky to get a picture because there's so many people that are diving into the pool, so. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah, I hate that when you're, like, trying to take a picture of a waterfall and everyone's, like, climbing up and you can see them standing on the cliffs and stuff. You're like, get out of the picture. <laughs> that's funny um yeah it looks really shallow i'm surprised it's like actually no it's jump in there very deep and then here's a picture of the city of victoria now is that nighttime yeah at nighttime yeah it's all lit up it looks like you're standing out on the water on like a dock yeah yeah lala is very impressed she said you convinced her about the phone Cool, Douglas. Nice. Congrats on the feature. Love it. Love it. And thank you for inviting all your groups. You have 20,000 people in your groups. That's amazing. I think I have, like, not that many. Like, a thousand. Okay. Next picture. This is, again, Victoria. So this is from, like, the other side. 
of the water. And there's these really pretty yellow flowers here that I love. Probably daisies. Oh, Paul said he loves that place. He honeymoons there. Ah. Um, Francois, I know that you're probably enjoying this on Periscope, but if you are available, oh no, Francois, I couldn't find your I couldn't find your YouTube channel. I was only able to make a couple people YouTube moderators, but I could use one right now. But I think it's only Sonam, Nick, and Ed, and I don't think they're here. But yeah, there's uh, someone on YouTube. If anyone wants to moderate, that'd be cool. But if not, we'll live. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm going to like this picture, too. I thought I liked all your pictures already. We must be getting into older <laughs> ones. Ooh, what is this? It's like a like a tree. Is it tree bark or something? Or some close-up of some kind of bark or skin of a fruit or something? Lala says, and the depth of field. Great pictures. Yeah, that's a bark of a madrona tree. Mmm, kind of reminds me of rainbow eucalyptus. Yeah, like yeah, it does. It's exactly like that. Paul says the provincial museum is kind of fun in Victoria. Yeah, I haven't been there for a while, so went there as a kid. So, um, Francois, you don't. I don't know if you have to. Have, you don't have to have any videos uploaded. I don't think, but you do have to have a channel. I think you have to have a URL. So if you just link me to your YouTube URL, however I would get to your channel, I have to put that in for the moderators. So I could only find, I looked for you and it, when I looked, it's only me F. I didn't find any channels. So that is where I left it with the, only those three. Hey, Jimmy, thanks for being here. All right, next one. This is Tolmy Peak Fire Lookout. Oh my God, that looks crazy. Mm -hmm. Is this Canada? No, it's back in Washington. Oh my God, look at that Rainier. mountain. It's Mount Rainier. Oh, Lala said, thank you for sharing this. I'm really enjoying all the photos. So yeah, you yeah, can actually thanks. sleep in that. Sleep in that cabin. It's a fire lookout, but you can sleep in it. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy, for all the super hearts. I kind of like just snuck the tip jar in here and it's kind of bigger than it probably needs to be and there's words everywhere now but I love it thank you so much hey Nick Nick um can you go on uh, thanks for writing your followers I know you just got here but if you don't mind going on YouTube I think there's someone there that wants to be moderated maybe and you're like my only um <laughs> oh yeah they definitely want to be moderated <laughs> and you're like my only moderator so if you want to go on YouTube and block that person that'd be amazing thank you hi Ashley okay sorry 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 moving on <laughs> and we have you in front of that mountain are you on a cliff steve steven i feel like your mom right now he's just chilling yeah, on a cliff I, he's like squatted down just like chilling, chilling on a rock on a cliff and you look calm and happy and just like chilling yep yeah i actually carried up a beer on that day oh, drinking a beer on the cliff all right that's it you're blocked <laughs> 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 this is a great picture i love this picture that's awesome that's so good <laughs> and then the next one it says notice the cliff like we couldn't have noticed that like oh we see the cliff steve we're all worried <laughs> we're all worried for your life it's just fine Lala said, yes, my kind of person. All right, so Lala, she didn't say this, but I'm pretty sure she's implying that she's going to dump her boyfriend for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and here's more in that same spot. I think Tolmy Peak, yep, fire lookout. And this yeah. is um, some interesting looking flowers. I've never seen those before. Oh, bear claw. Bear claw. We have uh, an ice cream called that in upstate New York. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Adirondack bear claw, and it's like my grandma's favorite ice cream ever. <laughs> um, yes, thank you. Oh, and Francois wants to know if you went for a dip there. Uh, no, too many people there. That's a fairly active hike. So. Hmm. And your uh, is another angle on the mountain, but this caption says a head clearing day loved it <coughs> and it's beautiful it's like a beautiful blue pristine water down there you can see some people i think kind of down there yeah it's the same same hike same peak yep oh my god i love this so much 
Oops, how, what, how long we've we been going? Oh, it's been about an hour, so you just cut me off whenever you're ready, because I'm, like, still going through these. Um, Panther Creek Falls! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lala said that um, was definitely one clear day. Wow. The, la the Mount Rainier pictures. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was this past summer, actually. This one, because this one here is from July. Right. So yeah, all of these are from this last year. Uh, pretty much, I think all of the pictures are yeah, that you've gone through from this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Panther Creek Falls. To be honest, I think it became my favorite waterfall of all Washington. Ooh, fancy! It's just, it's just, it's just different. Oh, thank you, Nick and Francois. Thank you guys for being on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Help me protect the channel and my community. I'm going to skip past the video of Panther Creek Falls and go right to these beautiful flowers in Mount Rainier National Park. It's a white mm -hmm. flower with yellow inside and then little tiny yellow flowers. Hey, we, what are those yellow flowers called? We have those. Um, the, the yellows are, um, I think they're a violet. I think they're a wild violet. Okay. Um, the white flower is an av uh, not an avalanche lily. Maybe it is an avalanche lily. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Can't remember. Hey, you can tell me whatever it is, and I'll believe you. Lala says, "Where is Panther <laughs> Creek Falls?" <laughs> uh, Panther Creek Falls is close to the Columbia River, a town called Carson. It's about ten miles up into the mountains. So nice. And then I'm gonna like this picture. Okay. There's another. There's another uh, waterfall close to Panther Creek Falls called uh, Falls Creek Falls, and that I'm trying to get up there, but uh, there might be too too much snow right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lala says, "Okay, I know where that is. This is so cool that you guys are both photographers from the same area. This is like this gives me life." Hi, Sean. This is one of the waterfalls from Mount Rainier National Park. Yeah, that's Comet Falls. Nice. I like yeah, the that's, that's about a 200, 250, 300 foot waterfall. Whoa. Yeah, you can actually get under, you can actually get underneath that one if you want. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, Lala said this looks familiar. I bet she knows what she's been there before. And here's Comet Falls from way further back, so you can see the whole fall. Yeah. Right. Paul wants to know: Have you seen Bernie Creek Falls yet? Uh, does not sound familiar. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, that's the first thing that you didn't recognize, though. So that's pretty good. <laughs> They're throwing a lot at us. Oh, here's the peak of Whistler Mountain. Yeah, so that's British Columbia. Sorry, sorry. I don't know what the elevation of that is, but uh, there, it, during the summertime, the gondola is actually can take you up to the top. It's so cool looking. Is this supposed to be a person? The rock formation um, thing. Well, it's it's some form of ancient I, I, rock formations that they put up there. I'm not sure exactly what it represents. Cool. Uh, Moon Painter wants to know who built it. No oh, idea. Yeah, we don't know. And here's a view from the gondola, peak to peak gondola. No oh, peak to peak, yeah. Oh, peak to yeah, peak. that's the <laughs> peak to peak. It's probably the, it's probably the long. I think that's the longest gondola um, either in the world or in all of no, in North uh, North America. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! Inuit rock creation. All right, cool, Francois. Thank you. Someone said Indians. Okay, fine by me. What do I know? <laughs> um, hey, Eric on Twitch. Thanks for going on Twitch and following me, you guys. I have to get 50 followers so I can apply to be a partner with them. Um, and I think I have like six followers, so feel free to follow me on Twitch. Okay, and here is Cliff Falls at Kanaka Creek Regional Park. Uh, it's like a stream with boulders and beautiful trees on the sides and sunlight streaming through the green leaves. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just a sat there and had lunch. I think it was about 100 degrees, so being close to the water was 
was nice. Oh, yeah, I bet. Oh, my gosh. That would be a great place to have lunch. I love yeah. water like that. Fresh water. Well, the, good, the, good, the good thing is, is that the people I hike with, actually, um, we mm -hmm. take it easy for the most part. But uh, we also stop and, and we bring wine and we bring beer on our hikes. Nice. So, so it's a good drink. time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, yeah. Lala's really excited for summer now. She's like, you're getting me so excited for summer. Uh, here's Brandywine Falls Provincial Park. Yeah. It, it's a great picture. It's a pretty one. That's really pretty. How tall is that one? That one looks like it's going down with a force. Uh, that's probably about a 100 foot one. Mm -hmm. That's a, a lot of water, yeah. Yeah, it's wide. <clears throat> Oh, I have nine followers on Twitch. Woo, we're making it. We are officially famous. One more and we'll be double digits and we're going to be like, no no looking back. Thank you, Eric. This is an amazing picture. It really, really is. And Another clip. Here's, yeah, here's Whistler, Canada. It's like all snow and mountains. It's beautiful. But again, I'm glad you went and not me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't like being cold, though. Yeah, yeah me cold. either. And this is pretty. This might be a pretty one to end on, unless you want to keep going. Uh, it's up to you. Francois said all this fresh water is making him thirsty, and that's a big ski area. I bet it is. I kind of yes, skipped it. it. Um, and yeah, I went to Shannon Falls. Yeah, that's waterfall on the way up to Whistler. I love this. I'm going to hide my little tip jar because I feel like it takes away from the prettiness. Um, as a scout, the Sierras were my playground. I got a horse at age 60. I'm working my way back up there. Whoa, cool. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Yeah, I like this one. I think I think I'm yeah, I think I like ending the idea of ending on this one. And then I can go mm -hmm. eat some food and come back for another scope because I think I still have like maybe half hour, 45 minutes of content to do today. So I'm going to refresh. Steve's going to finish his wine, and then you guys are all going to follow him on Instagram. And <laughs> I'm going to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad with you guys after this. So make sure that you follow Steve if you want to find his Periscope and his Instagram links. It's on my website, femyoga.com slash sponsors, or you can just go to femyoga.com and click top sponsors. So Steve, is there anything else you want to promote? Is there anywhere they can buy your photography or ways they can support you in your travels, anything like that? They can pay for a bunch of trips for me, but no. <laughs> How would they do that if they wanted to? I, I don't have anything set up. No. Okay, well, I'll just message him and say, hey, I have money for you. How can I get it to you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we'll see. I think we will see. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I guess. All right. Awesome. And don't hang up on me, though, because we have to do our little outro video, a little, you know, little song and dance. Yeah. Okay, I think I saw everyone. Hey, Eric, now you're on YouTube, too. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, if you want to be moderators on YouTube, please send me your URLs, your YouTube URLs. Direct message them to me on Instagram or Twitter. That would be awesome. And Lala says, thank you so much. Yes, Lala, I hope you follow him because he's so awesome. And he's a huge supporter of this channel. He makes this channel possible. And he's got so much talent. And he's introverted, so he doesn't, like, brag about himself enough. So that's what this whole broadcast is about. And Francois says, thank you, yeah. Stephen, as well. Yeah. Well, thank Yay. you. Thank you. Okay. Wait. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Okay. Remember. You're all worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. This has been a moment in time with Taylor and Steve, an amazing eye candy for your eyes and brains. And you can go look at all the rest of his pictures on his Instagram. So you don't have to stop now. Just keep going. And Lala says she's going to find you on Instagram right now. And, and Nick says, thanks, Steven. <laughs> thanks, Nick. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. He actually said Steven on, on YouTube as well. <laughs> I forgot to read that one out loud. Uh, but thanks for watching, you guys. I'll be back in a little bit later tonight. I don't know. I might even take a power nap before my next broadcast. We'll see. I have makeup on. Hey, there's my husband and my cat. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oops, that button didn't work. Okay, try again. Ah. Okay, that works. Hang on. We're still live, though. Okay, clicking buttons. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Follow me on all these things. 
and Twitch. Twitch is the only one not there. Okay, bye.